to some breaking interplanetary news. Yes, we don't get it that often. <laughs> this is happening 300 million miles away. The countdown to the historic landing on Mars. That's right. Images are going to start rolling in tonight as America attempts to land its Mars rover Perseverance on the red planet where NASA hopes to find signs of life. <laughs> it's a subject that has fascinated Earthlings for ages, as ABC's transportation correspondent Gio Benitez reports. Are we alone? Are we the only ones? I think we're just fundamentally curious about our place in the cosmos. We've been thinking about the possibility of life on other planets for hundreds of years now. And this is our first opportunity to perhaps find it. Engine ignition, two, one, and liftoff. That is the incredible mission of Mars 2020, to determine if life exists or has ever existed on another planet. Three and a half billion years ago, when life was just getting a toehold here on Earth, Mars was wet and warm and very similar environment to that which Earth has. So there's a possibility that early Mars was habitable for life and that life could have also started on the red planet. To answer that question, NASA scientists have created the most advanced robot ever sent into space. Perseverance has within it the most complex, sophisticated robotic system we've ever sent outside of Earth. We're landing the heaviest payload that we've ever landed. Perseverance rover is roughly the size of a car. It's about 10 feet long. She is the biggest rover, the heaviest rover. She has got packed with firsts from the bottom to the top. It's part of a mission that has been more than eight years in the making with a price tag of $2.7 billion. Its destination, an ancient dried up lake called Jezero, three and a half billion years old. Based on everything we know about that environment, it was habitable. Life should have been there. So I think we are very optimistic, I'm very optimistic, that we will find signs of ancient life there if they ever existed on Mars. There's no reason why they shouldn't be there. Don't expect them to find creatures like we've seen in movies like Mars Attacks. Martians. <laughs> Funny looking little critters, ain't they? What they hope is to find something much simpler, ancient evidence of tiny microbe-sized life. But none of this will happen until the rover is safely on the planet. Space is hard. When I started this work, over 65% of all the missions that went to Mars, had failed, had ended in disaster. It's so difficult that only one country has been successful in landing a rover so far, and that's the United States. Looking forward, this NASA mission is the first of three, part of a plan called Mars Sample Return that will ultimately retrieve rock samples Perseverance gathered from Jezero Crater and bring them back to Earth, hopefully as definitive proof of extraterrestrial life. If we define evidence of life on Mars, then we're going to realize that we're a bigger part of the life story. It's not just an Earth story, it's a universe story. I hope that happens. That would be a super exciting um, a thing to see. There's a lot of things that have to happen in order to pull this off. Whether or not we can do it, absolutely yes. Is it easy? Absolutely not. Will it happen? I don't know. I hope so. And once we prove that, new questions arise. Not are we alone, but now what or who is out there? Thanks to Gio for that. You can catch all the excitement on our mission tomorrow's live coverage on ABC News Live. It starts at 3 30 o'clock. 30 o'clock? 30 o'clock. 3 <laughs> 30 p.m. <laughs> Eastern. Just so excited about this. I wish was, I could have been a part of this. And another special at 10 o'clock Eastern tonight. <laughs> That's right. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.